Welcome back guys to another video and hopefully you'll enjoy it. So as you can see I added, um, I actually got new intro. So uh, this is the intro, like the first intro uh, ever on this channel in my videos. So it's, uh, I'm gonna make, or actually my friend is gonna make um, another one. So I'll um, use it in probably tomorrow's video. And you guys, um, hopefully, uh, you can comment down below which uh, intro you like the most and I'll keep the one uh, that you guys like the most. So, um, shout out to um, Gaming with Royce, or how do you pronounce it in English. So, um, I'll post his name on the screen right now. And uh, yeah, so today we are gonna talk about mortars and why are they so bad. So, hopefully I didn't play too many matches. So, oh, come on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so, um, yeah, we kind of played too many matches against the, I mean, so the mortar ones just kind of disappeared. So, uh, can't really watch them now. Oh, there's one and two. Actually, you know what, we'll watch them. And uh, pretty much the theme of this video is uh, why does the mortar suck so much? So, I've been facing it uh, quite a lot. Let me just lower the sound a bit. Um, facing the motor quite a lot and it's it's a pretty pretty dirty car to use except um, I mean especially if you use it with a combination with a rocket so it's a, it's a kind of a good card if you know how to play it but uh, an expo is uh, is just so much better if you like know how to use it because the spawn time of the motor is three seconds um yeah, of the expo it's uh, five seconds. But otherwise, the mortar, it, like its health, goes down before it does too many, too much damage to your tower. Even if you don't uh, really stop it, because I kind of failed with uh, placing down this bomb tower right there. So I'll try to get the mortar with the uh, goblins, but didn't really work out with that well. So, like I was saying, the mortar itself can do around maybe 1500 damage if you let it do. You know, with his thing and. Um, Oops, we just have to move because of the noise. So it uh, it can do like yeah, around 1500 damage if you don't stop it. But uh, otherwise, I mean the Expo can definitely take out your tower plus something else. And um, so that's kind of why, it, why it's not that great. Because usually with the mortar, you don't really get a sh like a shot of an, on a tower. Maybe one or two, but it just he it, it's it's uh, it's shooting is r really slow. It uh, it doesn't have that much HP. But otherwise, it costs four elixir, which is great. And you like it's uh, it spawns faster, costs less. But you know at the end, it does less damage. So, you can of course protect it with several dif uh, different cards. The most used are, I believe, uh, Barbs, uh, the Minion Horde, uh, and of course the Towers, basically, the Tesla Bomb Tower. Uh, and the Bomb Tower, I think, it's like the most used card right now. It does, spla it does uh, splash damage, so you can really stop the, um, the motor with the Barbarians, if, uh, if he, like, kind of um, protects it with the Bomb Tower. So, you can, uh, if you're using the motor, this is um, also kind of the video with the tips how to use and uh, how to protect the motor. <clears throat> and I, that's an example. So, I'm, I'm really sick right now, damn it. So, that's an example how to do it. You, you had just, you know, a few towers. And right there, I zapped and I didn't even touch his tower uh, yet. I mean, did, it did kind of um, touch it with. Uh, twice I believe with the uh, arrows but now I'm going in for the push and he has nothing to defend pretty much I arrow he does a uh, Tesla but man two barbs half health and the um, hog on the tower there's gonna get it down right now and 30 seconds left in the game 10 seconds and he cannot do nothing <clears throat> because the more like I said doesn't really do that much damage and he doesn't have a rocket so right now I just game over for him and let's get straight into another re replay. So, of course, you can three uh, three crown the motor, but with my deck, which is Hog Rider and the Zap, pretty much, um, you can really do like the three crowns. Or of course, if you have uh, any stronger cards, you you could actually do it. So we just watched uh, which one? This one, I believe it was. Yeah, let's just say it was this one. And uh, wait, was it? Yeah, it was. Oh my God! Come on. Didn't even um, read the name. So, come on. 
um, Asher, Asher, Asher. I believe it was, yeah. So let's get uh, straight to another, another replay. And as you can see, the car, the car levels are pretty much the same uh, against like this player and me. So the motor itself. If you doesn't have the a uh, counter, it can definitely ruins your it ruins your life in um, every single look. So um, right now he's putting it down, and the bump tower is also a uh, pretty great uh, kind of what should I say distraction and counter for the motor because it has a lot of HP. It can you know motor can focus on it. It costs five elixir, which is kind of a um, zero for you. But uh, otherwise, it's gr doing great against it, as you can see in these uh, replays. I can just use it against it, and just it just destroys it. So right now he fireballed my troops, and now I'm thinking, should I maybe put down an elixir pump and play it slow, or should I, you know, just go for the push because he spent fireball? Why wouldn't I just kind of attack with the barbs? So I decide for the barb and hog push. And right here, I think I will arrow or just when I spawn a hog, and he's actually going for the defensive motor, which won't really do that much. So it does actually a pretty good amount of damage, but right now I have a nice push. Spirit goblins are focused on the tower. My arrows goes in, didn't really do that much. But Horror is gonna get one and two shots of the barbs will stop him. But now the barbs are not really the the fear if you have a bomb tower because it does splash damage and a lot of splash damage actually. So he's just gonna kill them easily. So right now we are in the lead for around 500 HP. Or actually 400, yeah, let's just say 500, no, wait, is it? yeah, 500, 500 in the lead. And uh, we're gonna place down another elixir pump, cause we can. So we, he's kind of, you know, thinking, we are, when you're playing against motor, expo, you know, this card user, you have to keep pressure on him. Even if you, like your opponent uses a rocket, it's even better for you because rocket costs six. And if you go for like in the push and somebody doesn't even have, you have a 6 elixir advantage, you're just gonna totally delete his tower. So you kept, uh, you have to keep, um, you know, keep pressure on him and just don't let him place it down because otherwise it will focus on your tower, it will do damage and slowly and slowly just, you know, keep on doing it. So basically the motor deck and maybe the expo deck also are just kind of the decks that, you know, doesn't really, they don't really do like uh, kill tower in one shot like maybe the heavy decks do, like the peck uh, giant and all this stuff and three musketeer, but you know, it's kind of this deck like Horrider, you can go, you know, go for a push, he counters it with something, he kills it, but it got two hits and you just, you know, repeat it and repeat it and repeat it for uh, several times and after that, you're good. So you can, you know, you easily take out his tower and the motor and this uh, is pretty much the same. So right now as you can see his tower is to 60 HP. I just have to defend like for 5 next uh, next 5 seconds and we're just gonna arrow his tower. So this is a second win again, 1-0-1-0 because uh, we can't really do um, any more. So this was against this guy um, and uh, maybe we have another one, hopefully we have another one. Uh, just have to find it real quick. Come on, where are you? Okay, so it seems we doesn't really have one. We don't really have one, but um, maybe we can just jump into a live match. Or actually, no, I'm just gonna show you the rocket. But this guy is also using a heavy deck, which is kind of a one push deck. So we're just gonna jump straight to another replay, not a replay, live attack, and hopefully we uh, we win it, of course. So we are playing against uh, Greedy from Terra Firma, and this guy has uh, more trophies than us, so we should be victorious and uh, collect the like around 30 trophies, I believe. So placing down Elixir Collector while he just uh, trying to do something with the Spear Goblins, which uh, won't really do that much damage. And he's using a rocket. Can our target? Nope. Okay, so I didn't even get one additional Elixir, but the rocket cost six. Elixir Pump cost. Five, so we are in an advantage right now, and okay, so this guy is using the mortar. I don't know why I just um, placed barbs there, but now I really need the bomb tower. Come on, bomb tower, so it can. Uh, he wouldn't want that much damage, but yeah, he will do a lot of damage actually. But uh, we are also doing uh, quite a nice amount of damage on his uh, left tower, and it's going down to 260 HP. Now we're gonna delete this mortar with a hog. Um, oh wow, he actually did shot. So and he also spent around three licks, I believe it is, for the um, tombstone. And our hog rider got one more shot of his tower. 
So we are definitely in the lead right now. All we have to do is defend and maybe, you know, eventually we will just uh, starting arrow, arrowing his tower down to 0 HP. So he's gonna push with a bunch of, bunch of, a couple of archers there and uh, we're just gonna try to defend against them with a bomb tower as soon as we get one and uh, hopefully he won't place down barbs too soon. Okay, so the mortar got one shot off our tower, I believe it was. So uh, we are, you know, still in the lead, we're just gonna defend. And basically I'm actually gonna start to um, start putting the elixir pump into kind of into the middle so it can distract and bomb tower is gonna be for kind of countering his uh, mortars. So um, can actually do a nice little push on the right lane. Okay, so he's gonna play a tombstone again. Don't really know, like the tombstone is kind of a counter for it, but it's not that great to be honest. Uh, at least in my in my eyes, in my opinion. So uh, he's gonna play down water anytime now. At least he should. I mean, I won't even uh, keep um, pressure on him. I, actually, you know what? I will. Okay, so he decides to put it there, and uh, our archers shoot. Okay, so he doesn't even hit them. Okay, so our bomb tower is gonna distract a bit and uh, also also kill these spear goblins, I believe. So yeah, right there. And now all I have to do is just place down another bomb tower right here. Okay, now just place it there. We don't, uh, we really don't want to lose our tower, so we'll just keep it safe. But his rocket should be here any time now. Uh, but he's definitely not getting the. Um, okay, so I don't know. I think his rocket shouldn't do more than 450 damage or so because he's level five and we got his tower. So is it? Okay, yeah, it didn't do that much damage. So 3, 2, 1, and bam. We were facing a guy with a rocket, so basically, and the mortar, uh, yeah, of course. So uh, this was just the right, right match. Um, and we got 31 trophies plus the silver chest. And I'm just kind of rolling in this golden chest. I don't know why, but I forgot to open one yesterday. So uh, we're just gonna open the free chest now because I know you are all excited for it. And let's just see what we get. So we get uh, some gold, of course, like usually. I think we get some gems. Yeah, two gems, 61 right now, and one rare and a minions. Okay, not really using them, but anyway. So we are missing one more crown. Won't really do it. But hey, I we actually got to 2,900 trophies. Didn't even look on that in this video, but hey, we got it, and we are currently at our best score, 2,900, and we are on the fifth place, sixth place. Yeah, on the leaderboard. Two missing, two trophies missing to level five, uh, not level five, uh, to fifth place, and we are crushing it right now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below what you think about the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more content. Clash around, clash of uh, course, and uh, Slither.io. And of course, don't forget to comment down what you think about the intro, and uh, I'll post one, uh, another one tomorrow. Hopefully, it's if um, it's. <clears throat> it, if it will be finished, of course. So, goodbye and enjoy your day. Bye-bye.